Hello everyone, welcome to this lesson. In this one we're going to be making codes. Okay, so we're going to be creating a seven character code. And okay, so let's say this is the number of choices that we are going to make. And then this will be the actual code that we make. This is just for an example. This part at the bottom is just for fun. You don't have to do this. So they said that the first two characters must be numbers. Okay, so these two must be numbers. And then these the last five must be letters. Then they say repetition is allowed. That is very important that you always look out for that. So for the first one, we have to choose a number between one and nine. So how many options do we have? Well, there's nine different numbers. So we have nine options. But what number did we choose? Well, an example, we might have chosen a six. Because people often ask me, wait, Kevin, so did we just choose the number nine? Or is, are there nine choices? There are nine choices. Shouldn't be a times over there. Okay, now for the next number, there are still going to be 9 available. Why? Because repetition is allowed. And let's say we chose a 7. Now we're onto the letters, of which there are 26 in the alphabet. I know there are some of you who forget that. I've got students who forget that. It's absolutely fine. Let's say we chose a B. Oh, first, how many choices were there? There were 26. For the next letter, there's also 26. Why? Because repetition is allowed. So you can get like a BB, for example. It doesn't have to, you don't have to, You. Um, what I'm trying to say is you can choose a B twice if you want. In fact, you could choose a B three times. doesn't really matter. Then for the next one, there's 26 options. Let's say you chose an F. And then for the next one, there's still 26 options. And let's say you chose a T. So there's your code. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How many of those could you have made? Well, that's what this part over here tells us. So you put all of that on the calculator. A nice simple way would be to type in 9 squared times by 26 to the power of 5. Quite a big number. 9, 6, 2, 3, 9, 1, 4, 5, 6. That is how many different codes you could have made. So remember in our very first lesson in this chapter where we had someone going out for dinner and we came up with all the possibilities ourselves. We had stuff like BYO and things like that. Well, if you had to try this one manually, you would have to do this 962 million times 391,456. That would probably take you a couple of months. We're doing the same question again, but now repetition is not allowed. Now that changes quite a bit. We still have seven different characters that we're going to choose. Uh, let's say this is our choices and this is the code. This code part there at the bottom, I'm just doing that for fun. I'm just trying to get an example of what a code might look like, but I'm not, you don't have to do that in the test. So for the first choice, you have to choose a number. Well, there are nine numbers available and let's say the number we chose was a three. Okay, this nine represents nine different options. Then for the second number, you only have eight options available. Why? Because now you are not allowed to repeat. So if you chose a three, then you can't choose a three again. So there's only eight options available. So let's say we chose a four. Now for the letters, for the first letter, there are 26 options. Let's say we chose a B. But now that you've chosen a B, you can't choose a B again. So there's 25 options. Now there are only 24 options. So let's say we chose an F. Then there's 23 options. Let's say that's a G. And then there are 22 options, and let's say that was a X. So now what you do to, so this is a typical code that you could have made. Notice there's no repetitions. And then how many of those could we have made? Well, that's the answer to that is going to come over here, and that you get by multiplying all of those numbers together. So 9 times 8 times 26 times 25 times 24 times 23 times 22. And that gives us a fairly big number as well but not as big as the previous one. So that's 568 million. 